everybody, welcome back. It's Jason from Firearms Unknown. With everything that's going on recently, they thought it'd be a good idea if we actually brought out some IWI products and talked about those today. So for those not film familiar, IWI is Israeli Weapons Industries, and they make several different firearms that we actually sell right here in the Yuma store. And basically they've been out there pumping out some really cool guns for quite some time. But we'll talk a little bit about their history and some of the firearms that they put out on the market. But specifically today, what I wanted to talk about was the IWI Tavor SAR and 556 and the IWI TS-12, which is a, their 12 gauge bullpup shotgun. So I grabbed two today, I tried to match them up in colors and we'll talk a little bit about each of the systems, what makes them super cool and why IWI is a, an insanely reliable product. So we'll start with the Tavor 556 SAR. So I have that one right here. So as you can see, it's in their polymer bulb, bulb up configuration in the stock. I do have a chamber flag inserted. I'm gonna go ahead and just do a really quick chamber check. Now on these, what's really cool, obviously the ergonomics, the controls, everything is gonna be different than if you're used to dealing with like AR platform guns or AK-47 type systems, when you get into these bullpup guns, everything's a little bit different. So as you saw, uh, when I was locking that bolt to the rear, your bolt lock is actually back here at the bottom, right to the rear of the magazine. So remove my chamber flag. I'm just gonna go ahead and check chamber, make sure I got nothing in my magazine well. So the SAR 556 is a, a long stroke rotating bolt gas system. So it's a little more complex than what you're usually dealing with with an AR-15 style BCG and direct impingement system, but they're insanely reliable. This particular firearm gained a lot of notoriety in about 2014 when it was released, I think it was in the spring of 2014 when it was released for sales here in the United States. It immediately caught groundswell and it was one of the largest sellers that year. And one of the reasons for that was because of the pedigree behind the weapon system. What that means is, is that when IWI came out with this long stroke gas piston system, 556 and this bullpup design, and I'll kind of talk about why that's cool because it came from IWI, because it was used by the IDF, the Israeli Defense Forces, the pedigree of the firearm, people just wanted them. And it went on to be one of the number one selling guns in 2014. And they're in high demand even today, which is kind of the reason that we're doing the video. With everything that's going on in Israel and the Gaza Strip and everything down there, and not to get into a big political conversation, but it's going to probably lead to less importation of these firearms into the US. So if the IWI, IWI Tavor in 5.56 or the TS-12, if those were guns that you were interested in, or even the Masada or the Jericho in their handgun systems, if those are guns that you're interested in, just a little bit of advice, I would search those out because I got a feeling there's gonna be a massive shortage of those really soon. And that's just not trying to create groundswell for sales. It's just the radical truth of what's going on and the numbers are gonna probably end up being limited. So we'll get off that soapbox and we'll keep talking about the rifle. So bullpup design, which means that your magazine and everything is gonna be located to the rear of the firing mechanism. So what it does is it shortens the overall system down. So we still have a 16 and a half inch barrel, but shouldered, the overall length of the gun is very short. So I'm still getting all that gas burn, all that, all that gas burn, all that accuracy, everything out of a 16.5 inch barrel, but Overall, the size of the gun is considerably shorter, so it's easy, easily wieldable, it's uh, in much tighter quarters, and at an overall weight of just under eight pounds, it's not insanely heavy. Now, we'll talk a little bit about the technical specs of it. It does have a 16.5 hammer forged chrome line barrel. It does come in a one in seven twist. There, it is, a, like I stated, it's a long stroke gas piston, reciprocating bolt, rotating bolt. So if you get a, we'll get some pictures in the inlay, you can kind of take a look at how that bolt system works. What's really cool about IWI is everything is built to be ambidextrous. So it doesn't matter if you're a right-handed shooter or a left-handed shooter, your bolt, your bolt handle can be moved to the other side, but what's even cooler than that is your ejection port can actually be switched over. So instead of it being a right-hand ejector for right-handed shooters, this can be a left-handed ejector for a left-handed shooter. So they really set these up so that it doesn't matter if you're right-handed, if you're left-handed, you can run and operate this gun 
equally from both sides. And as you can see, everything's reversible on it. Comes with your 1918 Picatinny top, flat top, so you can run your red dot, you can run uh, micros, you can run anything up to an you know one to eight power optic on this thing, and they shoot really good. Nominal recoil, really smooth shooting weapon system, Stana G type 30 round magazines, runs really, really good. So if you haven't got a chance to handle one of these IWI Tavors, I suggest that you come down and see us. Get one in your hand, get a feel for it. I'm not a big bullpup guy, so I'm the first person to say things like that in these videos, but when it comes down to this, there's really this and another version that's out there made by another company. I'm not gonna talk about it on this video because this video is about IWI. But when it comes to these Bullpup 5.56 guns, as far as like shootability, ease of use, they're really easy to get a hold of as far as like the ergonomics, grip package, everything like that. And they run really, really good. So any questions about the IWIs, come in and see me down here at Firearms Unknown. They come in black, they come in FDE, and they come in OD green. And I have a few in stock, so if you wanna get one in your hand, come down and see me. Now, the other version of this gun or the second part of this video is we're going to actually be talking about the ISI Tavor TS-12. So it's their bullpup shotgun and semi-automatic gas system and it's actually considered a, regul a gas regulated uh, semi-automatic system. So it runs a little bit different than your standard gas operated systems but runs very smoothly. One of the really cool things about this particular gun is its rotating tube system. So we've seen that before in a couple of other systems. You saw it in KSG when they came out with the dual tubes and then some of the guns have come out with more tubes. And then we have other units that have come out now with a rotating system. So IWI has kind of jumped on with that. And so as you can see right down here at the bottom, and we'll talk about it before we get into a lot of the options, is this three tube rotating kind of foregrip. Now, you'll see it's got a little butterfly switch right here at the front of the trigger guard. That's what releases and allows you to rotate this tube into the next tube. So fire till empty, reach down, rotate tube, close chamber, fire again until you get through it. Now, what's really nice about this tube is it'll chamber both two and three quarter or three inch shells. So with the two and three quarter inch shell, you get five shells per tube. When you run the three inch shells out of it, you get four shells per tube. So you go from about a 12 round load to a 15 round load. Now, one of the things that IWI does talk about with this particular gun is they want you running ammunition that's about 1200 feet per second. They say that that is the ammo that makes the, the system run the smoothest. So when you run the stuff, you don't want to run super light loads out of it. You want to run your stuff that's running up around 12, 1300 feet per second when you're doing that. All right, so that being said, we'll talk a little bit more about what comes with the gun. So as you can see, I have my chamber flag inserted. I'm gonna go ahead and just clear that out real quick so that we can take a look at the this weapon system. And so I'm clear, nothing in the chamber, nothing in the tubes. So like we talked about it before, IWI does a great job of making everything inherently ambidextrous. So it's the same thing on the TS-12. You can move the bolt charger over to the other side and you can switch over your ejection port and have this thing ejection left-handed if you want it or you can have it going right-handed. It does have adjustable muzzle so that you can run different tubes and chokes in there. And it has a total of four different sling mount options. So you have QDs on both sides, to the front, to the rear, and at the middle portion of the firearm. So whatever sling system that you want to operate, you can do that. And like I said, it's so easy to use this when it comes down to rotating tubes, is all it takes is press here, rotate to your next tube, and then you rack that and go, if it fires a tube empty, it's gonna lock open, rotate it over to the next full tube, drop your bolt and go back to work. So we did a video recently about home defense guns. So we talked about one of the guns being the 12 gauge shotgun, specifically semi-automatic short guns that are usually used inside the house. So if you really, really wanted to look for something that was a phenomenal home defense shotgun, gives you a massive amount of firepower, 
this would be a really good option for you, especially because you can run between 12 and 15 rounds through there. It also gives you the options of running different ammo types in the tubes. You can run slugs in one tube, you can run birdshot in another tube, you can run buckshot in another tube. You could pick and choose what you want to do, how you do that. You can actually mark the tube so you know what you're looking for. So if you've got to take a shot out at 100 yards, you can rotate over to a slug tube, rack this thing, fire one ounce slug. If you're up close and personal and you want to whip that thing over, you run some number four buck or some double lot buck, you can do that as well. So a little bit more about the technical side of this gun. Like I said, 12 to 15 rounds, whether you're running two and three quarter or three inch, it does have a two position gas regulator in there. That's why I'm talking about it. It's a gas regulated system versus it being this like, direct gas impingement system. 18 and a half inches on the barrel, but the really cool thing is at 18 and a half inch barrel and a total overall length of about 28 and a half inches. So again, you get a lot of gun built down into this very compact system. And what does that mean for you? Well, they're not insanely heavy. This is coming in around eight and a half, nine pounds. And it's so short that inside the house, you could move around without having that 24, 26, 28 inch barrel on the end of your shotgun, which makes them a little bit unwieldy indoors. So this gun is definitely designed to be a real fun sport gun, maybe out at the range, but definitely home uh, defense applications follow this thing all the way down. So, like I said, about nine pounds without ammo. The choke system is interchangeable with anything that a Beretta or a, uh, I believe, Benelli will run. So if you have any Benelli chokes or Beretta chokes, those are interchangeable within this system. The IWI TS-12 and the idea of IWI uh, SAR-556 come in several colors. Like I said, they come in black, they come in FDE, they come in OD green. If you have any questions about IWI or any of their great products, or you're just out there and looking to support Israel in one way or another, feel free to come down and talk to me at Firearms Unknown. Until next time, have a good one.